Hi there. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can be able to generate eTeams invoices on eCitizen. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing is to log into your eCitizen and then I want you to scroll down and come and click on KRA services. And then we are going to sign in and uh, this will load. We will now be able to sign in using our e-citizen. So we'll just click on proceed and then this will load. And here is your account. I want you to click on invoicing. That is eTeams. And then you can read more about eTeams. Then we just need to accept the terms and conditions. And then we also accept the privacy policy and then activate invoicing then it will take a few moments and here it is it has been able to activate all we need to do now is to click on create uh, invoice and here we are going to add a customer a customer is whoever we are sending to this invoice you can use their carrier pin or you can use a manual way to just put this customer in here for this case, we are going to use the KRA pin because we have the KRA pin for the customer. So you will put here the KRA pin for the customer that you are invoicing. And after that, you'll click on validate. It's going to load and it's going to show you the name of the customer. And you can add a contact here. If you have their phone number, you can be able to add their phone number in this space. And then after that, you click on add now it has successfully added west kenya sugar company limited as our customer because we are creating an invoice for sugarcane harvesting now here you need to add an item and you can add new or add from inventory we are adding a new service here so we are going to uh, write the product name here which is basically sugarcane harvesting and then you can be able to write a short description explaining your product or service. For this case, we are going to write sugarcane harvesting invoice, just like that. The unit cost per one ton is 5,000. So we are going to put here 5,000. Quantity, uh, the farmer had 24.25 tons. And then we click on add. And now here we've been able to add the item and it has calculated the total amount. You can scroll down and here you can add terms and conditions if you have. You can attach a document and here you can select mode of payment. We are going to add a payment method and uh, you will select from a list here. And uh, for this case it's check. So we are going to select check. If it is bank transfer, you'll select bank transfer. The bank name is uh, cooperative, so we are going to write here cooperative and then we will write here the account number for the farmer, which is um, just um, like that. And after that, okay, after that we need to write here the bank branch, so we are going to do that pretty quick and we can save the details so that we can reuse them some other time and click add now the details have been added you need just to check this so that it is on check after everything has been filled successfully all you need to do is to come back and click on save and send and it's going to load for a moment and here is the invoice the invoice has been successfully uh, created or generated now here we can send this very invoice to this email address which is the email address for our client so the subject should read something like uh, sugarcane harvesting or something to do with the invoice you'll know what to write here and after you write the subject you can write a short explanation of the subject for this case I just said please find attached um, your um, your what your sugar cane um, harvesting, okay, just something to talk about the very subject. And after you've written a short body, 
All you need to do now is to click send and close. But then this is optional, it's not a must. Now, the very invoice is here. You need now to download it for you to have a copy of it. And then you can open it. And if it is in a cyber, you can print it for your client. And it shows everything here, who the invoice is coming from and who the invoice is going to. And then the farmer will have to take this invoice to the sugarcane company or the branch or whatever they have asked him or her to produce this very invoice. So this is how you can be able to generate um, eTeams invoice through eCitizen. And it's as simple as that. If you keenly follow these steps, you must be able to generate this very invoice. I hope that this video helped you. And if that is the case, you already know what to do. Like this video so that this video can be recommended to more people who are searching about this very topic. And if you like my general content, please feel very free to subscribe to this channel with the notifications on so that you can be the first person to be notified whenever we upload a video on this channel. Otherwise, I want you to click anywhere on the screen to watch our next video and I'm pretty sure that I'll see you in that video. Peace.